All right, how's it going, everybody? Jesse here with Redefine Effects, and today I want to show you how to make this particle shock wave using just the new motion design tools in Unreal Engine 5.7. So this runs completely in real time, and it can follow any kind of geometry that you have. So right now, I'm just using it on this Quixel asset of these rocks. And you can also very easily turn it into this environment scanning style effect. You can see the particles are scattered across the geo, even on the back side. So this tutorial is just one of 15 total videos inside of the free Unreal Engine 5.7 motion design crash course, where we set up all of these different effects that you're seeing right now. Inside the course, I go over many of the different cloner types, effectors, particles, dynamic materials. There's definitely a lot to learn, so make sure you grab the free course at redefineeffects.com slash realtime while it's still available. Okay, so if you've never used the motion design tools, make sure you go to edit, plugins, search for motion and enable the motion design plugin. Next, I will go to window, Quixel bridge, and you can search for Icelandic rock. If you don't have access to this, feel free to use any 3D model of any rocks or environment that you can find online download it in medium quality and add to project. After you add it, make a copy of the original and name the first one original and the second one, control D, I will name as rock underscore remeshed. You'll see why in a second. So I'll drop the rock remeshed into my scene, rotate it 90 degrees, maybe scale it if I need to. And now if I do alt two to see the wireframe, you can see that the triangles are uneven. And in order for us to scatter the particles across the surface evenly, we need the triangles to be evenly spread across the mesh. So we're going to remesh it. So I'll do Alt-4 to go back to lid view. And with the rock selected, I'll go over here and say modeling mode, mesh, remesh. So we have the same density of triangles across the whole mesh. You can set the target triangles to 20,000 and then say accept. Next, I will go to the motion design mode, cloners, and create a mesh cloner. Click, and it's important that this cloner is in the exact same location as the rock. So I will select the rock, right click, copy the location, and then click on the cloner, all, location, paste, and the scale also needs to match. So I will set the scale to two. Now with the cloner selected, I can go to sample actor and just scroll down and select my rock remeshed. So now the cubes are being scattered on the geo, but they're huge. So you can expand this and click on the default clone, which is the cube and set the scale to just 0.01. And they're still not matching. And that's because we rotated the rock 90 degrees. So the cloner also has to be 90 on the Z. And now you can just start increasing the count of the particles. So I'll do 25,000 to start. Now I want to give them an emissive material. So in my content browser, I will right click and make a new material. Call it M underscore emissive. Then you can hold three and click and double click to set the color to the NVIDIA green. Connect it to the base color. And I could just connect it to the emissive color, but I want to be able to control the strength of how emissive it is. So I'll hold M and click to make a multiply node and connect this to the A. And then I can hold one to make a simple float, just a number and connect that to the B and connect the multiply to the emissive color. You'll see why in a second. And so I will right click and say convert to parameter and rename this as emissive boost save and now i can right click on the material and say create material instance and this will be my mi for material instance underscore emissive and i can apply this material to the cube that's under the cloner wait for it to update and now they're green and to make them emissive i can just open my mi emissive and because we created the custom parameter i can just click and enable my emissive boost and start raising it and watch it update in real time so I can set the emissive strength to exactly what I need, which is about 35 here for me. Now I think that the cubes are still too big. So I will set the scale to 0.005 and set the count to 120,000 particles. 
and that didn't do much and that's because we are sampling the vertices so it's basically on the corner of each triangle right now so you can just change the sample data to triangles and that will scatter them in a much more random way and so now we can just go under effector create linked effector i want to set the shape to unbound so that it affects the entire scene and the mode we can set to procedural the procedural modes are new as of Unreal Engine 5.6. We can set the pattern to circular wave. And now it's basically asking you, what do you want to do? Do you want to change the location, rotation, or scale? I want to scale them down to zero. So I will set the scale strength to zero. And now I need to increase the frequency. And as I keep increasing the frequency, you can begin to see the waves to appear. And now to make them move, you can just increase the pan. So I'll set that to about 20 or 10 if it's too fast. So you can easily create that kind of stealth mode environment scanning effect. Or if you want to have more individual control, you can make a copy of this effect or control D and disable the first one. And so for the second one, we can just set the shape to torus and the mode to offset and the scale to zero. And so right now it's sitting on the floor. So I need to hit R to scale and scale it on the Z axis so that it affects the rocks vertically as well, right? So if I look at it from the top, you can see how it's cutting out the torus shape and you can just play with the torus radius, the inner and outer radius to sharpen the wave. And then you can click invert type and that will give you the final effect that we're looking for. And now you can simply hit R to scale and scale this effector up and down to create the shockwave traveling through your geometry, just like I had it in the trailer. So inside of the complete free course, I also go over the lighting, setting up the materials for the GPU, animating the fan, adding some post-process volume, animating in the sequencer, adding a camera, shallow depth of field. And we cover all of these other effects that I was showing you earlier. We create some high speed particles like this, reveals of surfaces, some motion backgrounds that I show you how to do, spline follow effects, um, particle physics like this, where the particles are colliding with the geometry and much more all for free. So if you'd like to continue learning the motion design tools, definitely grab the free course at redefineeffects.com slash real time. I'd love to see you inside of it. As always, I hope that you found this tutorial helpful and that this technique will be useful to you. And I will see you in the next one.